Hi, I'm Anthony from BestBluesGuitarLessonsOnline.com. We will talk about a very special topic here. It's about sweep picking used in blues guitar playing. A lot of people don't use it, but it can be used to great extent. And we will talk about an arpeggio up here at 12th fret. I will play it so you hear how it sounds first and then explain it. And a lot of people use sweep picking in metal guitar solos and rock guitar solos whenever they need more speed. But not a lot of people know that sweep picking is also really good to use in blues and it has multiple, multiple benefits to learn. If you learn to sweep pick, you will, for instance, get a smoother sound and get a smoother style. And also you will, um, you are less likely to play uh, mistakes because the next note is right at the tip of your pick. So here we are going to use a little three note, uh, four note, sorry, arpeggio. It's an A minor seven arpeggio that can be used in rock guitar and metal guitar and blues guitar. And uh, over here at the 12th fret, we start uh, with this. Um, position we start with this arpeggio so for instance here at the G string we're starting with the hammer on from the G note to the A note so that's the 12th fret to the 14th fret and then on the B string I'm playing the C note at the 13th fret and here I'm using uh, my three fingers that I used until here uh, I'm using the index at the 12th fret, then the middle finger at the 13th fret, and the ring finger at 14th fret. So the hammer-on is with index and then ring finger. Then my middle finger uh, takes the spot of the 13th fret. And then again index finger at the 12th fret, but I'm now playing on the high E string. And then I'm playing a pull-off on the G note, 15th fret, with my pinky finger. And then I'm going back down. So the pull-off is from 15th to 12th fret on the high E string. And then I'm going back to the B string, same fingerings, and also to the G string. So again, this uh, sweep picking lick is a really cool thing here. It's based on an A minor 7 arpeggio. A minor 7 is a chord that is used a lot in minor blues, but we can superimpose this arpeggio on any chord we want. Basically, if we understand how chord tones relate and in the last video here on the channel I gave a little bit of an introduction to the topic of playing outside and imposing different notes on chords and different things like arpeggios and superimposition sounds really hard, sounds an intellectual musical term but it isn't and if you haven't watched the previous video here on the channel I would encourage you to do so once you get this lick under your fingers, so you will understand that we can impose it on different chords. For example, when I was playing with the backing track, I used it in multiple uh, positions in the chord structure. So I laid it over multiple chords and that's basically what we are trying to do as improvisers. We are trying to take a musical element and then um, trying to 
get a feel for how it sounds on different chords and how we can work with the tensions um, that we get when we impose something uh, like this little lick. So again, the little lick here, hammer on on the G string from 12 to 14. And it's played with a down pick. And my pick is going with a continue and a continuous motion from the G to the high E string. So the good thing about three picking is that it's really, really easy for the right hand. The thing that is a bit challenging at first is that it takes up some time to build that coordination between both hands. So whenever I'm doing this, this is really easy motion. But whenever I'm trying to also get my fingers there at the same moment that my pick does this, it becomes a bit harder. And um, maybe hard isn't the right word, even challenging is not the right word, but it takes up practice to get the coordination right. So at the same time, we need the left hand and the right hand to work together. And here I'm uh, doing this with this sweep picking down so we can practice this lick for instance with only the pick going so we can practice the first part of the lick which is hammer on on G string then we have the B string and the high E string and it's basically just three it's just one continuous strokes but I'm hitting three strings with one continuous stroke and here I'm playing four notes at the same time so really really uh, slowly this would look like this but as you can see if I'm practicing this slowly my pick stops in between the strings when of course we use sweep picking as it should be used when we're playing faster, it shouldn't stop, the pick should continue to go on. Also try to not use the wrist too much to pick, but rather pick from this motion. So I'm trying to cut through the strings. So like if I broke, my arm and it's in a placer then I'm just picking through the strings and I'm not moving this part of my arm so I'm moving more out of the shoulder and we don't want to use the wrist to for example do this when using this sweeping mo motion so this is the first part of this sweep picking lick, really cool lick to use and uh, will be really beneficial for your playing to, to learn how to sweep pick because we can uh, of course if we develop the sweep picking not only use it here but we can use it on different things and uh, as I said before it will lead you to playing less mistakes and more fluent playing, uh, more effortless playing and also the second part of the lick can be played, um, can be practiced in separation so the second part would be so really slowly we have the hammer on from 15 to 12 on the high E string And then we play an up pick. So in one continuous motion, my pick goes further to the B string where I have the middle finger on 13 again. And then my pick travels along to the G string where I'm here playing this pull off. So once practiced in separation, you can put the lick, of course, back together. But this will get you a real good practice on this little thing here on the sweep picking motion. And also practice with various speeds. Whenever you're playing mistakes, 
that is a sign if you're playing those mistakes too much that you need to also slow down and uh, in fact if you're building speed I wouldn't say go all only with playing slow but we need to first determine the exact motions we need and if your muscle memory isn't built up to play uh, that kind of thing yet we need very detailed instruction to each of the motions we want to build in our playing once the, this detailed instruction is there we can also build up uh, or repetitions of course build up the repetitions because we need three to five thousand repetitions of the same thing correctly before we can use it correctly and before we have built this muscle memory so first detailed practice and then after the detailed practice we can go one step higher and we can also try to go for more fluid motions and you will find there are little twerky things that go wrong sometimes we then need to go back to this detailed instruction and go find out like a detective what is going wrong because we don't want to end up with this sweep picking lick out of control and if you practice it only fast you will find sooner or later that you have built muscle memory where there's like little things that are really built up into your playing like in a habitual way but they aren't correct they aren't right so then you need to go back to this detailed instruction but this costs you time so we need to go back and forth from detailed instruction to also trying to go with higher speeds so i hope you like the sweep picking lick once you get it under your fingers of course you can impose it on different things that's why i referred to the video where i gave an introduction on playing outside and how on every chord we have always the chord tones which are basically the notes in the chord then we have the tension, tensions and extension notes from the scales we're playing in and then we have also outside tones and this mix of notes is basically what is going to build but also release tension in your playing so if you haven't watched this previous video here on the channel I would encourage you to do, to do so and if you have questions about any of those topics feel free to post them in the comment section always happy to hear uh, comments and feedback from you guys and also thumbs up from for the video if you like it and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so so you get all the latest video to your home uh, page on YouTube and then on the website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com I wrote free guides that you can download like for example how to play through the changes so basically what that means playing through the changes is playing with every chord in a different way so when the chord changes and the rhythm guitar playing you want to also be able to play with the chord tones and the tones that are lined up over those chords the best possible tones you can use so i would say thank you for watching and see you in the next video